Flushing the membrane is crucial to maintaining optimal performance and maximizing the life of your RO membrane. Think of the RO membrane as a quarterback of your water system, reducing up to 99% contaminants. Periodically flushing the membrane will allow you to prolong its life and flush fine dust and other particles from your pre-carbon filters. There are a few ways to flush the RO membrane. The first is by having a manual flush valve. All liquids and systems come pre-installed with a manual flush valve as standard to make it easier and more convenient to flush the membrane. The first step is to locate the black waistline right here that is connected to your RO canister. On the waistline, the flush kit will be pre-installed with a ball valve. When the ball valve is in the inline position, as such, it means the system is in flush position. You want to run the system for about 30 minutes if it's a new install. Once you're done with that, close the ball valve and the flushing is done. If you have a 150 GPD unit, it will look slightly different as your flow restrictor will be an external flow restrictor. Here the flow restrictor this is a 75 GPD unit, so the flow restrictor will be within the tubing. Now we're gonna have a look at how to flush the membrane if you do not have a flush kit. You want to locate your flow restrictor. Your flow restrictor will be in your waistline connected to the RO canister. You need to remove the waistline to find inside a flow restrictor. You take that flow restrictor out. Once you remove your flow restrictor, put your waistline back in to your RO membrane, where it was, and run the system for 30 minutes. Once you're done with that, cut the water, take your waistline again, put your flow restrictor back in, put the waistline back in the RO canister, and the flushing is done. As you've seen in this video, it's much easier to flush your system if you have a manual flush kit. So now we're going to show you how to install a Liquigen manual flush kit. Your first step is going to be to locate your flow restrictor, which is in your waistline. So you want to remove your waistline from your RO canister and locate the flow restrictor. You want to take it out, keep it on the side. Take the Liquigen manual flush kit. You want to remove the tubing, which is behind your ball valve, like so. Put your flow restrictor that you just took out of your waistline right here. Put it back into the fitting. Make sure you push and hear a slight click sound. Once that's done, just connect the tube back to your RO canister where your flush uh, where your waistline was excuse me and you have just installed a manual flush kit if you have a higher GPD unit such as 150 and the flow restrictor is an external one you want to cut the line with a tube cutter make sure the line is very straight and just insert it right here so it's the same concept but instead of putting it within the tubing you're putting it outside so that's pretty much it for this video on how to flush your membrane and how to install a manual flush kit. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you'd like to see next time. Uh, leave us a like, comment below. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.